Today we're going to talk about tongue tie, a very hot topic on mommy blogs. First of all, what you need to understand is there are two reasons that babies have restricted tongue. And one is the anatomical reason, which is the tongue tie. And the tongue tie is that lingual or tongue frenulum, that's the, the string that holds your tongue to the base of your mouth or your jaw. And if that is too tight, baby's range of motion for sucking is going to be poor and that's going to result in breastfeeding pain for the mom, flattened nipples, poor tongue patterns which can result in limited transfer of milk, and then you're going to have an irritable baby that may only get four milk and no hind milk, or maybe not get enough milk and not growing well. So the lactation consultant a lot of times is the first line of defense and they will identify that yes, there is some restricted range of motion of the tongue and then may refer you to an ENT or a dentist who will do what's called a revision and hopefully that practitioner will show you some exercises to make sure that the tongue doesn't re adhere. It's just like if you get your ears pierced and you don't keep a post in there, your ear um, piercing is gonna close up. If you don't stretch that tongue and use a good range of motion, your tongue frenulum is gonna re-adhere and you're gonna lose that range of motion that the physician has given you. There's also range of motion that is more physiologic or limited range of motion that's more physiologic. And that could also be a baby that has a tongue tie, but once the tongue is revised, the baby will go back to their old patterns if they don't understand or realize that they have that range of motion or they don't know how to use the correct range of motion for effective sucking patterns. And that's where someone like myself, a speech pathologist, would come into play and I, my name's Joan Comrie, by the way, I forgot to tell you at the beginning of the video. Um, so what I would do is teach parents how to get the correct range of motion so the baby is successful breastfeeding. Because just because you clip the tongue, I feel very strongly that just because you clip that tongue does not mean that you're going to have perfect breastfeeding. Because the baby starts sucking and swallowing in utero at about 16 to 18 weeks gestation. And so between that time and when they're born, and then between that time and when someone realizes there's a tongue restriction or reduced range of motion, that baby is using incorrect patterns for a, you know, 24 plus weeks. Um, and it is a pattern of behavior that needs to be changed. So just getting the tongue clipped may not necessarily give you what you need. You're gonna to need to do the exercises that are gonna retrain that tongue so the baby realizes that they have correct range of motion and then breastfeeding can be successful. Now, just because you're breastfeeding or if you decide that you don't wanna breastfeed, it still is important to make sure that you have good range of motion because correct range of motion is really important for swallowing purees, it's really important for chewing, it's important for speech development, it's important to provide the correct input to your tongue or the correct input to your palate to form your teeth so that you hopefully don't need orthodontia somewhere down the road. So hopefully I have given you some information about tongue tie. So what I want you to remember is one, you can have the restricted range of motion that's anatomical that needs a revision, but most babies still have the physiologic range of motion that needs someone to address that for them to train them the correct patterns so that their tongue can be more effective during feeding. And also that um, just because you had that revision, um, that doesn't mean that the baby's going to automatically suck well and that you need to definitely do those exercises to make sure that the um, frenulum, that string in the mouth, does not re-adhere and reduce that range of motion. You can also look at our website at feeding.com where I have a lot more articles on tongue tie. Hope that's helpful.